It's a topic that's been discussed on the Balancing Act countless times, long-term care. Needing care for an extended period of time, whether you're at home or a facility. And today we're speaking with a guest that our very own producer found for us to share her personal story so that others can avoid the emotional, physical, and financial devastation that is involved when trying to care for a loved one. We'd like to welcome Sherry Scholl. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. You came down from northern Indiana to tell us your, your story, and, and it's, it's a difficult one to tell, and I really appreciate your courage to tell us. Um, it's regarding your mom and dad. Can you share it with us? Sure. Um, my dad was in ailing health, and my mom was the caregiver, and um, he had uh, hip replacements, and he had a hard time walking, and with all the stress of taking care of him, she died unexpectedly. I'm so sorry. And it got so worse that um, my dad had back surgery, and we were hoping that would take care of his walking to get back home to take care of himself. But that didn't happen with the rehab, so he was staying in a nursing home. And he just uh, had a stroke, too, didn't he? Yes. Sorry. So that will take more nursing care than what he had before the stroke. And I'm sure, obviously, they, they did not have the long-term care. No, they did not. So you have taken um, full responsibility for this? Yes. We, there's no planning for any of this. Mm -hmm. um, financial, he's been using his savings to pay for the nursing home. We had to have an auction to sell everything to continue to pay for this. Have you asked yourself, what will we do when the money runs out? Yes, um, my sister and I have um, looked at other different options for him because we want the best care for him and, you know, to get him back to, you know, the way he was. Right now, I guess that we'd have to depend on Medicaid, which they don't do the best health care or taking care of nursing homes. So it's a different option that we might have to take to move him to another facility. How has this affected you and it's, your family personally? It's Sharon? very stressful um, with my spouse and my children. It does take away time with them. And my vacation at work I use to take him to the doctors, doctor visits, and there's always meetings at the nursing home. Mm -hmm. So it does take a lot of your time. Tell me why you're here today. Why are you telling us this story? I'm hoping that, that there's families out there that don't have to go through this that we have. And, you know, I'm hoping that somehow, some way that they can find a different route instead of having planned for some health care. Because it, it can happen to anybody, right? Correct. Thank you so much for telling us their story. Thank you. Now, coming up next after the break, we're going to also talk with Mark Goldberg. He is the president of Axia, an LTC global company, and he's going to talk to us about ways you can prevent going through what Sherry is going through right now. We're going to discuss how you can protect your family, everybody around you. That's just ahead, so stay tuned. Welcome back, everyone. Just before the break, we heard the personal story of Sherry Scholl, a daughter who's struggling to care for her ailing father. And now we're going to help you at home take action to find solutions so you are never in the same situation as Sherry. We want to welcome to the show an expert on long-term care, Mark Goldberg, president of Axia, an LTC global company. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Christy. Thank you, thank you so thank much you for, for being here. here. Well, thank Sherry, you. again, thank you for staying with us on the show this morning. Thank you for sharing your story. And very, you heard her story, Mark. Yes, very touching. Very powerful. I mean, it's a story that can happen to anybody, anyone. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not an uncommon story. Uh, once um, people find themselves in need of care, the, all the unexpected things that can happen, you can't forecast. And so it's, it's so very important to, to, to be prepared. Putting a plan in place mm -hmm. while the family's still healthy, while uh, everyone can contribute, can save so much strife and emotions later on when people might have differences of opinion. One of the things uh, Sherry mentioned is that um, uh, they want to be able to stay at home when they get care. 
And if you put a proper plan in place, you you'll be able to stay at home a lot longer. Let me be the devil's advocate here, because I, like Sherry, I'll be honest with you, you know, my parents are healthy, they're in their late 60s. Um, we've never talked about it. Right. We've never even sat down to think about it, because I look at them and I say, they're healthy, nothing's gonna happen. Sure. Again, Sherry's the perfect example that that is not true. So what are the one, two, threes for someone even like me? The real stress in a circumstance like this is not on the person getting the care but on the caregiver. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have research that shows that uh, the likelihood of the person giving the care goes up eightfold for them needing care themselves eventually, simply because of all that stress as a result of having to be the caregiver and deal with all the unexpected things now that they didn't have to deal with prior to the person they love needing care. Tell so, us a solution for people like Sherry, myself, and others out there. Three things you need to do if you're, if you're addressing this issue. One, don't wait, don't procrastinate. Absolutely. You, you gotta get out there. As I said, you have to apply for this and get accepted for it. You need to do that while you're healthy. You don't wait till your home's on fire to go get homeowner's insurance and nobody would give it to you then anyway. Second, uh, educate yourself. There's lots of differences, variations of plans that are available to you, lots of options for care and mm -hmm. choices. You need to get out there and get as much information as you can. And then most importantly, work with an expert. Oh. Someone who really knows long-term care. Don't, don't get this from the same person that sells you your auto insurance. Get this from someone who, who understands the intricacies of the different plans, can help design a plan to meet your specific needs. We've actually just put together a new campaign called Nearly Three and Four Need More. And what we mean by that is nearly three and four need more information when it comes to their long-term care. Nearly th three and four people out there are gonna need more than government health care reform. And nearly three and four uh, people are either underinsured or uninsured wow. for long-term care. So Mark, it's like health insurance, right? It's. Kind of, sort of? It, it, we, people say that, but it's really not. We don't, we like, it's not health insurance as much as it's wealth insurance. It's about protecting your life savings. Sherry, how could something like this have helped you? Well, we wouldn't have had to have an auction as soon as we had to. And you auctioned off all your memories and mm -hmm. valuables and personal Everything. items. It would have changed your life dramatically, yes. wouldn't it? Well, as she pointed out, the, the criteria for, for getting help for her dad changed dramatically when her mother died because when her mother was alive, they were able to protect the house and, and, and some of the savings in the car. But as soon as he was, it was just himself, now they had to impoverish themselves in order to qualify for any kind of government care. So, so the bottom line, honestly, both of you, is, is regardless of how young you are or how healthy you are, it's really something one should think about, right, Sherry? Mm, yes. Mark, you agree? Absolutely, and, and again, um, I, I can't thank you enough for helping bring this message to, the, to your audience. It's yeah, I'm glad you even opened my eyes because it's something that I think I need to think about as well, even at my age. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Mark, for the information. Thank Sherry. Thank you. And good luck to you and your family. And like Mark said, now is the time right now to think about the future for yourself and your loved ones. If you would like more information on finding the right kind of long-term care for your family and get an expert, like Mark said, simply visit the website especially created for Balancing Act. He just said it. It's called BalancingLTC.com. Again, BalancingLTC.com.